hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will cover four different formulas of microsoft excel first one is random between second is count third is minimum and fourth is maximum so let's just start with random between first as you can see we have different fruits but we are not sure about the stock so we will use random between formula to generate random numbers of a stock so let me show you how it works so you'll use our formula here which is r a n d rand which is stand for random then between and then tab now as it is asking bottom number so for this random number we need to select a range and for bottom we need to select minimum we will use 500 for now as bottom and then after comma we have to choose upper limit we want to set for this number so for top i will choose 5000 and break into her and enter now you can see this random number which is between 500 to 5000 then from here i will drag this down now you can see these random numbers which are between our range but please note if you will do any changes in this sheet like this everything will change so we need to fix these we will copy it by pressing Ctrl C and then we will paste it here by pressing Ctrl V and from this Ctrl and below this paste values we will press on values and if we click here now we have fixed these all so you can see these random stock for all our fruits so after this we will use our next formula which is count so we will use our formula here our formula is equals to count and then tab then we will select our range and then enter it will tell you the variety of fruit you have because we have different fruit names here and also stock so count formula is used to count the number of sales having values in it so let's move to the next formula which is minimum so now you'll learn how to use minimum formula in microsoft excel so we will use our formula here which is min and then tab then we will select our stock till the end and then enter it will tell you the minimum stock you have in other words lowest value as you can see in this range the minimum is 1021 which we have here and max works exactly the opposite now you will learn how to use maximum formula in microsoft excel so we'll use our formula here which is equals to max and then tab and now we will again select our range and then enter so it will tell you the maximum value you have in your selected sales and you can see this here bananas i hope you have learned these simple formulas in microsoft excel if you have any question you can write me in the comments if this video was helpful for you please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.